Hi Tim, Bill Bieber here from the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on what we worked on. And he worked on like one or two things today. Swing's great. Down the line, really good the lines. And I always say that to you, but it's getting better and better every time. Top of the swing's really good. Great load up there. Good swing. Let's just have a little look here. And we talked about today the relationship between your hands and your wrists. So we can see there you've got a nice strong angle there. If we look here at Robert Rock as well, good angle as well. So he's on the same sort of plane as you. A little bit shorter swing. But a big difference is, is when you start to come down, you're going to lose that angle. We're going to see that club head, unfortunately, getting away from you. So we can see now if we draw a line on your uh, left arm to there, it was 54 degrees. We can see there that that's getting wider and wider. And the time your hands reach your right thigh, we've lost a lot of that sort of lag, as we call it. If we look here at the swing on the right as he starts down, you're going to see there his hands and arms are staying very, very much the same. He's still got that very sharp angle there. And the time his hands reach his right thigh, we can see there his shaft is 90 degrees to the floor. So that just means that when he comes into impact, his hands are ahead of the ball. You can see that there. He's making contact. And look how far ahead of his hands are. With yours, if we look at yours, we can see the club head actually passes your hands. So the club head is actually ahead of your hands. And that's the wrong way around. And that's why when you was on the range, you was tending to hit some sort of loopy draws, as I call it. It's got too much shape. And that's where the club hasn't got interaction with the ground. So then you started working on that for me. Uh, and you was doing it quite well, getting a bit of turf. But they were all sort of leaking right, Tim. And the reason for that is your left arm was going away from you. So we want to keep that left arm attached and stay tight to you. If you look here at Roberts, you can see his left arm arm there is really attached to his chest as he comes through it hardly separates he's hardly got any gap in his arms there and that's all we needed to do with you so you've just got to really work hard on sort of getting some compression hitting the down and through the ball to get that chest just to turn left for me today with massive progress i saw you hit two of the best shots i've ever seen you hit and even you said it felt completely differently so really work hard on that for me tim don't need to hit lots of balls, but just lots of practice swings. Really getting used to smashing into that mat, but getting them hands ahead of the ball. I mean, you know, I want to see your hands there, really, you know, really ahead of the ball. If we look here again at Roberts, you know, he's, he's, he's not, not a big guy, quite slim. But look at them hands, really miles ahead. So he's going to get that, love, that lovely downward pressure. And we can see as he hits the ball, look at the club going into the turf. Massive divots there. Tim, all going the right way, and I saw uh, like a little light bulb moment today with you hitting that ball. So uh, good luck, and I'll see you soon.